Hi, my name is Alistair Chapman, and in this video, I'm going to take a look at the real-time tracking or touch tracking autofocus function on the FX9. The real-time tracking allows you to use the FX9's touchscreen to control which parts of a scene or image the camera will focus on. Once an object within the scene has been selected, the camera will then track and focus on that object as it moves within the frame. To gain a better understanding of how this function works, I made extensive use of it while shooting a short film, and I'll show you some examples of this later in this video. To be sure of the very best autofocus performance, you should use a Sony E-mount lens. For the short film, I used the Sony 28 to 135 mm f4 power zoom lens. Real-time tracking is normally used when the camera's autofocus is set to AF and autofocus is used, but it can be also used when the camera is set to MF for manual focus. If in the menu, under shooting settings, the touch function in MF is set to tracking AF. The real-time touch tracking autofocus will also work when the AF switch on the side of the camera is set to MF. To work in the MF mode, the attached lens must have autofocus, and if the lens has an AF on off switch, this must be set to AF. Set this way, the camera and lens will operate in manual focus until such time as the touchscreen is touched to start the AF real-time tracking function. The basic operation of the real-time tracking function is very simple. Just touch on the viewfinder LCD screen where you want the camera to focus, and a white box with bars either side of it will appear over the selected object, and then the camera will track this object for as long as it stays clearly visible within the frame. To cancel the touch tracking, touch on the grey cancel box that appears at the top left of the viewfinder. Real-time tracking can work on its own, but it's perhaps more commonly going to be used in combination with the camera's face eye detection AF. If in the shooting focus menu, you turn off the face eye detection AF, the camera's AF will focus on whatever the camera thinks is the most significant object in your shot until you touch the LCD screen and then the AF will focus on and track the object that's been touched. If you wish to have the camera prioritize faces, you should turn on face eye priority AF. The AF will then prioritize faces over other objects in the scene, and where it is focusing on a face, it will focus on the eyes of that face. When using face eye AF, a gray box will appear around each face in the shot with a white box around the face or the eyes the camera is currently focusing on. If you then touch on an object that is not a face, the real-time tracking will focus on and track the touched object for as long as it remains clearly visible in the shot. If you touch on a face, you'll get a white box with bars on each side to indicate that this face or the eyes of this face are being focused on and tracked by the face eye AF. In addition, if the person is facing the camera and the camera is able to identify this individual face, a star symbol will appear next to the face priority symbol to indicate that this face has been saved and will now be prioritized over any other face. For example, if this saved face leaves the shot and then comes back into the shot, the AF will return to this saved face automatically. If the face being tracked turns away from the camera, the real-time tracking function will continue to track the side or the back of the person's head. If they turn back towards the camera, the face IAF will revert to focusing on the person's face and eyes. In this example from the short film I shot, you can see how I have selected the face of the actress, and then as she turns away from the camera, the real-time tracking continues to track her head as she walks through the shot. It's also possible to start on the back of a head. In this example, you can see how I've started by touching on the back of the actress's head, and then as she turns towards the camera, the AF switches to face IAF and focuses on her face. 
The touchscreen and real-time tracking also makes it very easy to execute perfect pull focuses between faces or objects simply by touching the viewfinder LCD each time you want the focus to move to a different person or a different part of the shot. When the face IAF is set to face only, the operation of the AF is the same as in face priority, except that the AF will only focus on faces or a touched object. If there are no faces and you do not touch the LCD screen, then the AF will halt until a face comes into the shot or you touch on an object to activate the real-time tracking. In face eye only, when an individual face has been saved, if the camera cannot find that saved face in the shot, the AF will halt until the saved face comes back into the shot. Using face eye only and touching on the subject's face to save it is very useful for interviews or drama to help ensure that the only thing the camera will focus on is the saved and tracked face. It's also worth noting that when working with faces and face eye priority or face eye only, it is possible to use the thumbstick on the camera's hand grip or the cursor buttons on the side of the camera to select the face that you wish to track or save by moving the yellow cursor that will appear under one of the face boxes to the face that you wish to prioritize and then selecting it. To stop the real-time tracking function, simply press the real-time tracking stop button that appears in the top left corner of the viewfinder. Stopping the real-time tracking also clears any saved faces. Real-time tracking will also stop when a touched object that's not a saved face leaves the frame or when a button assigned with the push AF push MF function is pressed. If focus assist is enabled, turning the focus ring will also stop the real-time tracking. It should be noted that the real-time tracking operates across the entire image regardless of the type or size of focus zone that's been selected. Additionally, the AF transition speed settings will change how rapidly the AF focus distance is able to change. A faster setting will allow the focus to rapidly adjust for a fast moving object, while a slower setting may be more appropriate for slower moving objects to avoid very rapid focus changes or fluctuations. Any object you wish to track must be sufficiently different from the rest of the scene that you're shooting to allow the camera to differentiate between it and the rest of the image. Textured or patterned objects will be more easily and precisely tracked than plain objects. For more information on the use of focus zones, as well as the AF transition speed and AF responsiveness settings, I recommend that you watch the FX9 Guide Lens Options and AF video. As you can see, the FX9's autofocus functions are very powerful, and I suggest you take some time to experiment with the various modes of operation to learn how to get the best from them. If you found this video useful, then I recommend that you take some time to look at the other videos in the FX9 Guide series. Thank you for watching.